day class. In this video, we are going to study the principles of acupuncture and masturbation prescriptions. Before we go to the details of the prescriptions, there's one topic that I want to address in this video. As we mentioned previously, many Chinese names of the acupoints have some meanings that can indicate the, fun the functions or indications of that specific points. For example, in the previous video, we introduced some points that's named after Sui, S H U I. Sui. Sui means the water. So some points are named after Sui. You can, you can use the points for edema, for water retention. You also can be used the abnormal meta water, metabolism, water metabolism because that's related to the water, Sui. So that's from the Chinese name. However, the explanation, this kind of explanation is not according to my understanding of to modern understand the modern Chinese or the Chinese that we are using now, not from the meaning of this. For example, accidentally, I heard that some students might read some other explanation of the points, such as Stammer 36. Stammer 36 is a very important point to strength, strengthen the qi of the body. So it is very important for general health to improve the qi, to tonify the qi of the body. In Chinese, it means zu, it names zu san li. Zu is the foot. So the direct translation is the foot. San means three, the number three, li. There's one explanation that I heard from some of our students. Li means miles. So which means from, from this explanation, which means if you need all these points, you can walk another three miles. That's, this is why this point can strengthen the qi because you once your qi is strengthened, you can walk longer. But sometimes when you heard this kind of explanation, you need to think about or you need to doubt if this explanation is correct or not. If this exp explanation is correct, there's other points that we can use as an example, such as liver 10, when you refer to the Chinese name, zu wu li, zu still the same, you see z u, zu z u, zu means the foot, wu means the number five, Li, the same L I L I. So what if you said this Li means mile or miles, three miles or five miles, which means the Zhu Wu Li, the level ten, should be much better than level three, than stomach six, because Zhu Wu Li means you can walk for another five miles. So San Li. Large intestine 10, the hand sandy. So if you use sandy as 3 miles, the wudi means 5 miles. How do you explain sandy, the large intestine 10? This is also 3 miles. So means the hand. So wudi, large intestine 11, 13. So means the hand, wudi, 5 miles. And then the heart five, only still you see all these points have the name of Li. If this Li means miles, how can you explain other points? And why stomach 36 is better than level 10 in terms of strengthening the qi? Since Zhu Sandi can walk for another five three miles. 
if you explain in this way, Zhu Wuli, you should walk for another five miles, which means level 10 should be better than summer 36. But in a theory or from the clinical experience, the manifestations that's the, or the other response from the patients, you can see the summer 36 is actually works better. So the summer 36 actually works better than level 10 in terms of improving the antipathogenic qi to strengthen the qi and blood of the body. Summer 36 is better than level 10, which means this explanation, you need to doubt about this explanation. It certainly means three miles, wu li means five miles. The first mistakes here is the foot. A foot, zu, is a noun, is not a verb. So which means this zu you can't explain as a walking or running. This is a noun of the foot or of the leg, the, the area. It indicates the location of the points is in the legs. That's why zu or the soul is the hand. As we all know, that's the acupuncture theory, the Chinese medicine theory, were recorded in the classic that's written in about 2,500 years ago. So about 475 BC until now, when we see the, the characters from the acupoints, these names was these names were the determined 2,500 years ago. During the explanation, we should not use the modern explanation to explain the past meanings. Which means, when you explain the points, you need to find the literature, you need to find the texts or the clauses from the other books or other, it can be either the texts or clauses from the classic or on other literature book similar that's written in a similar period. So the foot sandy, the Zhu Sandy, Stamma 36, in the Huang Di Nei Jin, the Su Wen, the first volume, plan questions, is described that the so-called sandy. Now you go to this word sandy. As we said that Zhu means the Foot. Now it, it explains the so called sandy is three chun below the knees. From this clause, you will see clearly that's the Huang Di Nei Jin, the classic, explains sandy as three chun. San means three. Li. It just describes three chun below the knee. This explanation doesn't indicate any walking distance, doesn't indicate any qi strengthening from the walking distance. So from the classic, it doesn't support this explanation for walking another three miles. Another, an, another literature, Suo Wen Jie Zi. This book is a very important literature. Actually, this is an dictionary of the characters, the explanation of individual characters. This book, were, this book was written between 100 and 120 AD, uh, 121 AD. So this is very close to Huang Di Nei Jin. It describes that Li refers to residence, which further illustrates gathering or distribution. Why the residence can follow its large trace, the gallery or distribution. This is there's another clause that's Li. It's described that three your neighbors, five neighbors, five houses because neighbors. So five families because neighbors. 
five neighbors equals Li. As you can see here, from this clause, you can find in other literature, this clause refers to Li, means 25, five families, when five families, five families gather together, we call it neighbors. Five neighbors, we call it Li. So five times five is 25 families. When 25 family, families gather together, we call it Li. So as you can see here from this clause, Li refers to residence. Residence means people gather together or the small village or small town. People gather in a village or in a town. And then this village or the, or the town also can distribute, distribute to other villages or town. So that's why the can be further illustrated as gathering or distribution. So when we understand the meaning of Li, we can go back to the, the, the names of Summer 36. Zhu San Li. Zhu means the foot. San, as you described in the Su Wen, in the classic, three chun below the knee. Three chun below the knee. What does the li mean? The li indicates that the qi and blood gathered at this point. The qi and blood of the body, more specifically of the stomach meridian, gathers at this point. Three chun below the knee. So that's the meaning of zhu san li. The qi and blood gathers at this point, when you understand Li means gathering, Zhu Wu Li. Still, the Zhu means the foot. Wu Li just the distance, Li gathering. So the Qi gathers at this point. So San Li. So is the hand. San three, Li gathering. So you will see the three, the Qi of the large intestine gathered at this point, the sign indicates different distance, different location, the Wu, Hong Li, the heart meridian. It's also gathering, something gathered at this point. So when you understand that Li means gathering, then you will, you will be able to, to remember, to understand the Chinese name of Zhu San Li. So Zhu San Li doesn't mean when you need of this point, you can walk another three miles because this is the other mean the miles. When we use this as an example to explain in academic or explanation, doesn't matter who says, doesn't matter but to who or others say something. When I explain something, I always need to find the literature. That's why during our lectures, even from the first year, from the basic theory, whenever I explain something, I will give you some clauses. This is not something I say. In the academic, doesn't really matter what I say or what I believe. What matters is what the literature says. What the literature tells us is the, the rigors of the academic. When you see something, when you see some words, some names, no matter in Chinese or in English, we should not explain according to our uh, according to our preference. You need to find the literature. You need to find the proof, the evidence, what others say. What other, especially the famous daughters, the classics, or the dictionaries, what do they say about the, the meaning? Then you can use as a reference, then you will know is correct or not. So there's something very important in our study, even the indications. If you want to know if this point has actual indications or not, you still need to go through the literature. Find other clauses.
if the glosis supports your suspicion, then you can use. So for these few minutes, I just want to explain how to explain the names of the edge points, how to use the references, the references from the literature to explain our theory or the characters. Do not explain according to your prefer preference. In this video, we're supposed to talk about the expansion motivation principles of the prescriptions. Before we discuss the prescriptions, there's one that we require you self-study, the meridian dif differentiation. The reason why we require you to self-study is because this differentiation, this differentiation method is not, it's not difficult. Most of the symptoms are related to the function of the organs. Also, more specifically, it refer, re, related to the distribution, the pathways of the meridians. So when you try to use this kind of differentiation techniques, firstly, you need to remember how does the meridian, where does the meridian distribute? So if the disease appears in certain area, in certain locations, so you can suspect that this meridian has some problems. Numbness, pain, swollen, or some different colors. Or sometimes when you palpate, you can, if you feel different sensations, or the patient feel different sensations, then you can suspect that the disease locates in that meridian. So the theory, you can study by yourself, you have to be familiar with the meridians. In the meantime, you also need to be familiar with the different indicated different manifestations. The principles of the prescriptions. So in a prescription, we will use a group of acupoints. But we have studied so many points. How do how do we select the points? Which points is better for which situation? How to combine them? Which principles that we need to follow? That's something we need to discuss in this video. There are many different principles of the selections. Firstly, we're going to select the local localized selection or the proximal selection the two are actually similar the local or something close by some points close to the fatty area for example a patient suffer from toothache you can select stomach four stomach six that's the the local selection you also can select the distal points this toe selection, for example, for if still with toothache, you can select the large intestine 4 because that's the large intestine meridian links to the, to the gums, to the teeth. So the large intestine 4 also can, can be used for toothache. Apart from the location, we also need to consider about the syndrome differentiations. That's all will be discussed in the previous videos. You're going to select the points according to the Zhangfu differentiation, to the A principles. You also can select according to the Qi and blood, body fluid, or the meridian differentiation. Sometimes we also select according to the symptoms. Some points have specific function for specific symptoms such as the itching is one extra point on the leg can be used for itching the symptoms some symptoms that are related to the blood to the bones the muscles the 
C, we also can select some specific points that have a specific function, such as the, the gathering points of C, the gathering points of the vessels. So all these are different categories you need to remember. We also can select the points according to the R4 points. The R4 points also kind of a local points. That's how when we palpate, the patient feel sensitive when we use this point. However, in our treatments, we should not use R4 points only. You can use as um, additional points to your prescriptions. There's also one theory that's the selection according to the time differentiation. The time differentiation we didn't introduce in our lectures. If you are interested in, you can find some articles on Zi Wu Flow. Zi Wu Flow is actually a selection due to the time, so it doesn't matter which patient, which disease, I'm going to treat according to the time, because that's the theory from the qi and blood flow in the meridian that align with the, the, the time. Other selection methods that's including the specific points, and we got different categories of specific points, and also sometimes we can apply the experience of the famous practitioners. So we can learn from the experience. You can use those points to apply to your practice. These are some principles that we need to think about. For example, you can go through uh, in details by yourself. The forehead, you can use actual HN3. GP14 is the local points on the head. You also can use large intestine 4. Summer 44. The tongue, you can use a CV23. That's also local. You can use pericardium 8. So these just as some examples how to select the local points and distal points. B points, you, can, you, also, you always can apply as a group or as a pair. You can go through one by yourself. According to symptoms, specific points have specific function. For fever, we can use 214 Da Zui. We have, we have explained that Da Zui because of the Yang Meridian course on Da Zui. So we can use for fever, we can use we're going to use the three edge needle to prick to cause bleeding. We can use Qi Ci, large intestine 11. We can use the large intestine 4 to relieve the fever, to relieve the heat or unconsciousness, coma. We can use GV26, Sui Go. We, when we use Sui Go, we use the technique of bird patching. We use reducing technique until, especially for coma, we're going to use this point of the packing until, until what that we have emphasized in the particles, until the patient's eye become tearing. Slightly tearing, you don't need to make the patient cry, but slightly tearing or moist, moist in the eyes, then we can stop. You can keep the blood packing for one or two minutes until the patient's eyes become watery. We can use Shi Xuan Actual UE11. We also use prick for bleeding. So the Sui Go G26, we're going to use the blood packing. Shi Xuan, we're going to use prick for bleeding. Collapse. Collapse if due to yang or no matter due to yin or yang, collapse or depleted. We can use the muscle passion 
a GV, a CV4, CV8, summer 36. As you can see here, these are the points that can quantify the qi, the antipathogenic qi, can improve the qi of the body. We also can use needling technique. The needling technique we can to use reinforcing technique. Excessive sweating, large intestine four, kidney seven, night sweats, sanjia three, yin xi, heart six, yin, night sweats, yin deficiency. Why we can use yin xi, yin? As you can see, this yin is the same as yin deficiency, so you can use heart six. Is on near heart meridian, heart seven. What's the category of the heart seven? Sign jiao, three in meridians. Let's mix a sign jiao. So this point can regulate the spleen, the liver, and the kidney. There's one type of in insomnia is the disharmony of the spleen and kidney. It's also uh, the, the same situation we can use Gui P1, G U I, P1 in the Chinese herbal medicine for this kind of insomnia. The patient suffer from insomnia present as the heart problem, but in the mean, in the treatments, we can do treat the spleen. In the same, in the meantime, we also can use Sain Jiao. As you can see here, when you use heart 7 and spleen 6, you're actually treating the same the manifestations of insomnia and the root cause from the in meridians. Excessive dreaming. Dreaming from the heart. You're going to treat the heart. Xin Su is the heart, back su point of the xin of the heart. Heart 7. Ho Chao Yin will be 11. Lock Jaw is the local point. You also can use large intestine 4. This is the distal point, uh, the distal point. Foldia. You can use the large intestine 18, large intestine 11. You see a cardium 5. Just distress, distress. You can use PC six. Nei Guan PC six. We have explained that you can use anything related to the chest and abdomen. So as you, as you can see here, chest distress, distress, chest pain. You can use not for nausea or vomiting. You can use for hiccup, hiccups. Abdominal discomfort. All, all of them you can use pericardium 6 because pericardium 6 can be used for anything related to the chest and abdomen. So this is one of the most important points. Make one. Pericardium 6 is also very important for stroke. Chest pain. Tanzong. CV seventeen. That's the qi. This is also the this is the lo, local points of the chest on the chest. Also the points where qi gathers. The CV seventeen. Abdominal problems. Yan Su summer twenty five. CV six. Local points. Abdominal detention. Zhu San Li. Usani can be used for stomach, it's on the stomach meridian. In digestion, in digestion, Zusani, the stomach. Gongsun, spleen. In digestion, digestive problem. When we link to the theory, 
what's the function of the spleen. The spleen governs the transportation and transformation of a food and, and fluid or the water. That's digestion. The digestive problems. So you can choose the spleen meridian. Spermateria. CV4. Sai Yin Jiao. Why we use Sai Yin Jiao? Spleen 6. Spleen 6, 3 E meridian gather together. The liver, the kidney, spermateria. Liver and kidney. Strengthen the qi. This is also the local points. CV4. You also can strengthen the qi to confine the sperm. Also can regulate the liver and the kidney. So that's why we choose spleen 6. Stiffen of the tongue. Stiffness of the tongue, we use G15 or CGV15. Ya meng, ya means loss of the voice. Someone they they don't they they cannot speak in Chinese because ya. So they, they can't speak because ya. Ya meng can be used for stiffness of tongue. Because if your tongue becomes stiff, you cannot speak. Yan Chen, the local points, Hong Li. The tongue is the, or the orifix of the heart. So you can use points on the heart meridian to treat the tongue's problem. Yan Quan, in our particles, we also will introduce how to, how to ins insert needles from Lian Quan, the three needles. And not Lian Quan, but the upper Lian Quan. The third objection, He Gu, Sao Sang. So this objection is not physical objection, mostly refers to the discomfort or the pains of thoughts. Excessive saliva. Apart from these points, you also can focus on the spleen. Palpitations is something related to the heart. Pericardium 6, again we mentioned pericardium 6. Pericardium 4, this is another, the C clef points of the pericardium. So for something related to the heart, we can either focus on the heart or pericardium. That's the from the theory, the heart and the pericardium always together. That's also when we introduce the functions of the pericardium, we also use as the appendix of the heart. Cough, we can use CV22. That's the local point. We can use the lung 7, that's on the lung meridian. Mahon neutron with the accumulation. Si feng actual UE ten. This is very special. This only works for the poor digestive poor digestion in kids. In kids, we're going to use this point. We're going to use the three edge needle to prick actual UE ten to, to prick to cause kinds of bleeding. But the bleeding, most of the situation is not the blood. It's like the the tissue fluid, so you can squeeze out some yellowish tissue fluids from actual UE10. Insufficient lactation, lactation, you can use Sanjiao. One, hypertension, Rong Yin, Stamen Nai. We have introduced how to in insert these points. Be very careful. On the direction and the depth. Also, be very careful of the manipulation techniques. When you are not familiar with the location, please do not try these points at home. Do not practice on your patients. Stomach nine is one of the most dangerous patient points that's on the body. 
whenever you need, no, no matter how many times you have success in needling submit stomach nine, always be careful when you need doing stomach nine. These points can be used for hypertension. You bleed in with urine, uh, urination by splitting one. Impotence, the male's problem. Spring 6, CV4, the local point. Again, I want you to think about why it's being 6. Premature ejection, spring 6. You see, these are very similar. Also, for erectile dysfunction, you also can use these points. Contipation, TE6 is one of the most effective points for contipation. You also can combine these two, STAMA25 and TE6. STAMA25 can be used for contipation, also can be used for diarrhea. Anal prolapse, you can use GV1 or bladder 57, you also can use for mosibustion. Leg spasms, bladder 57, the local points. Yang Lin Quan, GB34, the ligament, ligaments meet at Yang Lin Quan at GB34. Skin itching, you can use the large intestine 11, spleen 10, Spring 6, Xue Hai. This is because the itching can be due to blood deficiency. So the itching is due to the wind, but one of the reasons for the wind, for the internal wind, is blood deficiency. That's why we focus on the spring and the blood, Xue Hai, blood, the pool of the the, the sea of the blood from the name, the wind, of the IND. So if you don't remember what I was, I was talking about, you need to refer back to the basic theory, the internal evils, especially for the internal winds. What are the causes of the internal wind? The internal wind. One of the causes is the blood deficiency. For skin itching, you can use spring tan. You also can use Ge Su, the bladder point, the points on on the bladder meridian, the, the blood meeting points on the bladder meridian. In this video, we mainly introduce the selections according to the location and the symptoms. As you can see from the examples, each two sometimes we actually cannot separate them because they are, they are linked to each other. When we select according to the symptoms, we will select from the characters, the characteristics of specific acute points. Some points we are more likely to reduce the purge so we can use for excess syndrome such as the fever, some of them are more for deficiency than we can use for deficiency symptoms, such as the sweating or spermonotrea, such as the CV4, CV6. In the meantime, these points are also the local points. So when you study, try to think the theory, the reasons why we select these points. This will help you to understand and memorize better. Thank you for your attention.